Stylize your videos with SDXL Animate Diff on sampling. Learn this easy method for comfy UI in this tutorial. Developed by Inner Reflections, you will see how it can be refined to create amazing animations. Stay tuned. You can find the articles of Inner Reflections in the description. They contain the base workflow and the instructions how to use it. Download the workflow by clicking on the blue button on your right and unzipping the file. Drop the workflow over Comfy UI. Missing nodes can be installed from the manager. In the description I leave also the other nodes I used in this tutorial. You will need to download Animate Diff Hotshot XL. The workflow from Inner Reflections uses Counterfeit XL, which is great for anime style. We are also going to use Real Vision XL. To create the animation in clay, we are going to use the Claymation XSDXL LoRa. To follow the example in the video, download and install also ControlNet Union SDXL. The workflow is divided in these parts. In the input section we load the video, the models and set the samplers. Next is the unsampling, where images are converted into noise. By using Animated If, we are able to keep the motion in the noise. Prompting can be useful to stylize. I will also show how to use Florence and use captions in the prompts. During sampling the noise from is converted into new images. With LoRas and IP adapter we do the stylization. Noise injection in Animate Diff helps in detailing. Line Art and Canny, at low denoise, help in stylization. But it is preferred not to abuse of control net. Finally, in the outputum we compose the animation. For convenience, I will use the load video upload node, but you can also use the existing load video path node. Select every second frame. Also for convenience, you can use an empty latent preset. There are several in different node packs. We select 1024 by 512 resolution, which is the same as in the original workflow. Connect width and height to the upscale image node. Check that the models are correctly loaded. Hotshot for animate diff and counter file XL for the checkpoint. The original workflow uses the SDXL VAE. You can download it from the manager. You can also use the VAE from the checkpoint loader if it is baked in the checkpoint file. We are going to change the control net. Use the load control plus plus model single node. Select the Union SDXL ProMax control net model and connect it to the Apply Control Net node. Select Canny slash Linear slash MLSD as control type. Set the frame load cap to 8 and test the workflow. The base workflow seems to work. As you see, it has the style of the counterfeit checkpoint. Let's see what we can do to create a clay animation. In the sampling part, add one of the LoRa loaders. Connect it from the evolved sampling node to the sampler custom node. Connect the clip to an input if required. Select the Claymation X SDXL LoRa. Change also the prompt and include the Claymation keyword at the beginning. Simplify for the moment the rest of the text. We see now it starts adapting the style. If you like it, you can keep it like this, but let's see how we can further stylize the video.
Euler works good, but DPM++2M plus plus works also nicely and it is faster. Reduce the CFG of the unsampler from 2 to 1. In the sampler area, add an IP adapter advanced node. Connect the IP adapter between the LoRa loader and the custom sampler. Connect now the IP adapter model with the IP adapter model loader. Choose the SDXL VITH model. Add not the load clip vision node and select the clip VITH model. Both the IP adapter model and clip vision model can be downloaded from the manager. The next step is to connect to the IP adapter advanced node the reference images. You can use one, but I like to start mixing some of them and try different combinations. Go to civit.ai and search for claimate images. You can then browse and select some which you can use in your workflow. Duplicate the load image node as many times as reference images you want to use. Load the reference images. Place now an image batch multi node and connect all the images to it. You can use the prepare image for clip vision node and select pad in crop position. This is optional, you can also connect the images directly. Use also, if you like, the IP adapter noise and connect it to the image negative input in the IP adapter. Reduce the strength to 0 0.1 and connect it to the adapter. In IP adapter, select strong style transfer in the weight type. There are other style transfer options. Feel free to experiment and play with the settings until you find something you like. With the IP adapter we have a more exaggerated style, but still has the anime stylization from the counterfeit model. For this example, we will also change the model and use Realistic Vision XL. We will also include a depth control net next to the line art. However, Try not to stack many control nets because the denoising and the LORAS do most of the work. Duplicate the load control net plus plus node, connect it to the new control net node and select depth. Add a depth anything v2 relative node and change the resolution to 576. Connect the preprocessed images to the control net node and feed the preprocessors with the resized images. Make sure the control nets are connected correctly, and this to the forward custom sampler. The prompt can have a significant effect. To improve the prompt, we are going to use one of the images and caption it using Florence. Use a get image range from batch node and choose to get the frame with index 1. Add now the Florence 2 run node. Connect the image. Connect also the Florence model. Use the download and load model. I choose the base model as it gives already good results. Select detailed caption as a task. This will provide a nice caption, but not too long. Connect now the caption output to a display any node to see the text. Copy now the text and move to the prompt. 
paste the prompt and adjust with the caption. Most important is that you keep the claymation keyword. Using quality attribute keywords is also good. Great, the video is more similar to the original, but with the claymation style. Let's see what else we can do to improve. We can add some more details from the original video if we inject the images as noise and animate diff. Connect add noise image injection node to the sample settings node of the resample group. Connect the images from the video and the VE to the node. Image injection adds details, but it can create artifacts, especially in the background. You can minimize them by reducing the strength to 0.5 for example. Connect a multival node to the strength to do that. Looks better now. We now inspect and select one of the generated frames. I think we are going to select the first frame. Right click over the image and select copy clip space. We are going now to use this copied image as new reference in the IP adapter. By doing this, we will have better consistency when processing more frames. Add a new load image node and paste the image from the clip space. Connect the node to the IP adapter. We can now bypass the image injection node, as we have already a good reference image in the IP adapter. The draft looks nice. Let's now go and process the whole clip. Come back to the video load node and set the frame load cap to zero. This will process all the frames of the clip. And we are done. A great claymation animation, using video to video with the unsampling SDXL method of inner reflections. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.